Hi guys, I'd like to introduce you to my bed head. This is something I have to deal with almost every single day and I'm gonna show you a couple ways of how to tame an unruly mess like this. Our first step is gonna be brushing all of these knots and all of this product out of our hair. I like to brush my hair out using a nylon softer bristle brush. Um, there's a lot of different kind of brushes out there. I prefer a softer bristle just because instead of pulling on the hair, it detangles your hair and also smooths out all that frizz. You don't wanna brush your hair too harshly. You wanna do it nice and soft. You don't wanna hurt yourself while you're doing this. There are a lot of brushes out there and a lot of brushes are made of a lot of interesting things. And one thing that I learned recently is that there are actually a lot of brushes made with boar bristles. Now when I heard that, I actually thought it was just a, a term, but really they're made out of boar. There are a lot of cruelty-free brushes out there. Companies like Aveda and The Body Shop actually make some really good nylon bristled brushes. You wanna make sure you wanna get all of the knots out. So, whether it's just a few or you know you teased your hair a lot towards the scalp, try to get all of that out. All right, so that looks good for brushing our hair out. So the next step for some people would be actually washing, conditioning, and drying your hair. But doing that every single day can actually strip your hair of a lot of really important oils. So someone like me, I like to wash my hair every three to four days, and that keeps my hair looking healthier. Now dry shampoo is actually a spray that you just spray into the roots of your hair. And if it looks a little greasy, it'll actually absorb those oils and make it look fresh and clean and new. There are a lot of cool companies that make dry shampoo that's cruelty free, and uh, Lush Cosmetics is actually one that's really awesome. You can always consult beatadoo.com for cruelty free products, and you can also keep an eye out for that little bunny logo on the bottle, which tells you that it is definitely cruelty free. So what we're gonna do is actually just shake it up and spray it right into our scalp. You usually wanna hold it at least eight to 10 inches away. And then what you do is you just brush it through. All right, now that our dry shampoo has absorbed, it's ready for the next step. And what I like to use here is either a defrizzing serum or a shine spray. And what that does is it sort of gets rid of all the frizz in your hair and it's actually creating a barrier between your hot tool and your hair. So as it's going over your hair, it's actually burning away the product and not burning your hair. So we're gonna go ahead and just lightly spray some of this product into the hair. You don't wanna use a lot because if you use a lot, it can make your hair very heavy and weighed down. You're just doing a little bit just to get that frizz away. All right, now at this point is where we gotta make a choice with what we wanna do with our hair today. I'm gonna show you two different looks. One is more of a smooth and sleek look and the other one is more of a big, curly and dramatic look. First, we're gonna start with the smooth and sleek look. So we're gonna need a hair straightener. So I went ahead and let this one preheat. It's ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. You can really pick any place to start, but I like to start in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this piece right here. I kind of just hold it tight. And I start at the root and just squeeze slightly and just pull it down. And look at that, it makes it really nice and sleek. Sometimes you might have to go over a spot more than once, that's okay. Now, different hot tools have different settings. Some of them get a lot hotter than others, so it's really important to read the directions on whichever particular tool you're using. You don't wanna burn your hair out. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just keep picking up pieces and just move all the way around our head. All right. That looks good for our straightening, and that concludes our sleek look. All right, I am ready to take on the day with this sleek look, but if you wanted to do something a little more glamorous today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a curly look. The first thing we're gonna need is hairspray. And there's actually a lot of really good cruelty-free hairsprays out there. Even major brands such as Paul Mitchell make hairsprays that are not tested on animals. Now we just need to pick a curling iron. There's all different kinds of curling irons and all different size barrel widths. Today I wanna to go with a really voluminous look, so I decided to go with a bigger barrel width, which is about an inch and a half. So I preheated my curling iron. We're gonna go ahead and pick which piece of hair we wanna start with. And again, you can really start anywhere, but I like to start in the front. And we're just gonna spray it with a little hairspray. Again, hold it a, a good amount of inches away. You don't wanna spray it too close. I like to go ahead, clamp it, and slide it to the very end, because you want to try to avoid those clamp lines. And you just curl it all the way up. 
So you really don't want to leave the curling iron in your hair too long. And how long you leave it really depends on the size of the piece. If you pick a big piece, you're going to want to leave it in a little bit longer, but a little piece can be quicker. And you're basically just going to continue this process all the way around your head. All right, now that we've curled every single piece of hair, we're gonna wanna go through with our soft bristle brush and brush through all of these curls to make them really smooth and so that they all blend together. So you wanna brush through the curls enough not to actually brush the curl all the way out, but just enough to blend them together really well. And if it looks like one or two of the curls fell out, you can actually go back in and recurl a couple pieces and then brush them back in. Now after all of that heat, our hair is gonna appear a little dry, a little frizzy. So we're gonna go in back with our shine spray and just spray it lightly throughout all the curls. All right, well, it looks like we're all done the curling process. And if you wanted to be done at this point, you could. But if you're looking to do something that's a little bigger, a little more glamorous with some more volume, which I love, then you can actually tease the top of your hair to add some volume. So we're just gonna take our brush and a very section at the top of our hair. It's important to do like the crown section of the hair. So we'll start here in the front. I don't like to tease the bangs because I think that they should be kind of sweeping down more onto your forehead. So I choose a piece that's a little bit behind the bangs. Kind of give it a nice little brush. And I brush it up. Careful not to brush the actual curl up, just kind of brush the hair straight. And then I actually back comb the hair, meaning like I put the, the brush in the hair and I push down on it to kind of create a little bit of knotting. And see how it just stands straight up? It's not gonna stay that way, don't worry. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue to do the rest of the crown area. So I'm just gonna pick another piece that's further in. Gonna kind of lightly brush it out again, trying not to brush the curl out. Just trying to brush the hair up. And if you didn't wanna use the brush, another method is actually using a comb. And you just do the same thing. In the opposite direction the hair is going, you just comb backwards. All right, now that we have all of our hair teased up, we wanna kind of tame it back down a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and use our soft bristle brush and very lightly over the outside, start to smooth it out. And I like to blend it into my bangs a little bit. It's important that you don't have any knots showing, so that very top layer you wanna make sure is nice and smooth. All right guys, there you go. There's two great ways to tame that early morning bedhead. So I hope you enjoyed it. For more information on cruelty-free hair products, you can just visit PETA2.com.